but the question asks us to find all six trig functions for the point negative 6, 8, the terminal side that ends at negative 6, 8. So what I'm going to do is draw in from my origin. I'm going to draw that line. And remember what we're doing is we're finding the trig functions for that angle is essentially what we're doing, but we use the reference angle to do that. So we're going to draw in the triangle. So there's my triangle right there. And my point, my sides, this, this distance right here is negative 6. And this distance right here is positive 8. And so this is my angle theta, that the reference angle I usually call theta. And my hypotenuse, I could use Pythagorean's theorem, or I could just use the fact that this is a Pythagorean triple. You remember 3, 4, 5? 6, 8, 10 is another one. Just double them all. So that angle, or that distance is 10. Now, it's not negative 10. This is never negative. Oh, well, these two can be negative. Either one of those or both of those could be negative. But this, the hypotenuse is never negative. So let's find our different values. Remember what sine... Cosine, tangent, those are the three main ones. And then the other ones are the reciprocals of those. Cosecant, secant, cotangent. So the sine of theta is the opposite <coughs> over the hypotenuse. 8 over 10, which reduces to 4 over 5. The cosine is the adjacent to that angle, which is negative 6, over the hypotenuse, which is 10, which reduces to negative 3 fifths. And the tangent is the opposite 8 over the adjacent negative 6. So that's negative 4 thirds when I reduce it. Okay? These ones are even easier. I'm going to give myself some room. Yeah, we just need to flip all those other ones. So the cosecant is the reciprocal of the sine, so it's just 5 fourths. The secant is the reciprocal of the cosine, so it's negative 5 thirds. And the cotangent is the reciprocal of the tangent, so it's negative 3 fourths. And those are your six basic trick functions for the terminal side, negative 6, 8.